Cyber criminals are exploiting Facebook ads to distribute info stealing malware via fake Windows themes and are hijacking business pages to amplify their reach and target unsuspecting users. After June's Patch Tuesday updates, Windows Server 22 systems are facing disrupted Microsoft 365 Defender functionalities, particularly impacting the critical network detection and response service. How can administrators ensure their networks are safe even when Microsoft Defender is not functioning at full capacity? And finally, shocking flaws in Squarespace's security defaults have led to a wave of domain hijacks targeting major cryptocurrency websites, highlighting a dangerous oversight in their migration process from Google domains. You're listening to The Daily Decrypt. Cybercriminals are exploiting Facebook ads to push malware disguised as free Windows themes, except instead of a theme, you're getting the SYSO1 info-stealing malware instead. So how does it work? These crooks create fake business pages or hijack real ones, then run ads for enticing downloads like Windows, Display Themes, or other softwares. You click the ad, download the file, And boom, your passwords, browser cookies, and even cryptocurrency wallets are at risk. This malware digs deep, stealing personal info, Facebook account data, and sensitive financial details. And it's not just Facebook ads, it's any ads. Google ads, LinkedIn ads, Reddit ads, anywhere that attackers can pay money to get you to click links is vulnerable. I probably haven't brought it up in a week or two, but if you're trying to navigate to a specific website, particularly in a browser that has a search bar where you also enter in the URLs, don't click on the ad that's the first result for that website. Go down and find the result that is not a paid advertisement. Why? Because yes, attackers can pay money to get their websites at the top of search results. I've had multiple people in my life fall victim to this type of attack, where attackers essentially make their website look exactly like the website you're trying to visit. Then they find a domain that looks very similar to the one you're trying to visit. And when you visit it, you either download a malicious file or you even make a purchase that will never be fulfilled. So just avoid ads at all cost. Last month's Patch Tuesday released some updates for Windows Server that broke some critical Microsoft 365 Defender features, specifically the network detection and response service in Microsoft 365 Defender, known as Defender XDR. This will mean interruptions in network data reporting, affecting features like incident response and device inventory, which are pretty important features. If you're wondering if you're impacted, head to Microsoft 365 Admin Center and check the service health page for alerts. Microsoft is in on it, they know what's going on, and they're promising a fix in an upcoming update. Unfortunately, the fun doesn't stop there. The same update also caused issues with Azure Synapse SQL databases and even profile picture changes. Microsoft has already released a fix for the Azure bug, but is still working on the other fixes. I didn't include this one in the intro or the title, but apparently there is a ransomware named Sexy, S-E-X-I, that just rebranded to APT Incorporated and is causing havoc. This ransomware is specifically targeting VMware ESXi servers, which are crucial for virtual machines in many organizations. So if you're running VMware, stop what you're doing and listen up. The attacker used leaked Babook and LockBit3 encryptors to lock up files related to virtual disks and backups, leaving other OS files alone. Victims will then get a random file extension and a ransom note with instructions to contact the hackers via an encrypted messaging app. Ransom demands range from tens of thousands to millions of dollars. And as of right now, there's no known way to decrypt these files for free. So if your company relies on VMware for its operations, a single attack could mean serious downtime and financial loss. Though it is worth noting that when this ransomware group started out attacking in February, they were using the leaked LockBit and Babook encryptors. So if you do get hit with the sexy ransomware, check with the FBI, check with IC3, and see if a decryptor has been found for LockBit or Babook. I'm not really sure why they rebranded to APT Incorporated because sexy was a pretty cool name. 
And finally, if you own a domain with Squarespace or Google domains, this next one's for you. Hackers were able to hijack websites simply because owners hadn't set up their new Squarespace accounts after the Google domains migration. In fact, it's pretty easy. Hackers just needed the email tied to the domain, which they could guess or actually find publicly. From July 9th to July 12th of 2024, attackers targeted cryptocurrency sites like Seller Network and Compound Finance, redirecting domains to phishing sites. And the kicker is that Squarespace didn't require email verification for new accounts. So hackers could just create a password and boom, they're in. So if you're a Squarespace or Google Domains domain owner, which now that I'm thinking about it, I am, <laughs> log into your accounts, enable multi-factor authentication as soon as you can, check to see which users are there, and look for anything fishy going on in your account. Also, it's advised to disable Squarespace's reseller access to avoid a backdoor entry. This has been The Daily Decrypt. If you found your key to unlocking the digital domain, show your support with a rating on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It truly helps us stand at the frontier of cyber news. Don't forget to connect on Instagram or catch our episodes on YouTube. Until next time, keep your data safe and your curiosity alive.